Hey guys, I am back again today with a little bit of extra bonus content for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout uh, and hopefully now you're checking in to hear a little bit more about keeping up your good habits or building new habits in this sort of new environment that we're being exposed to, uh, which for a lot of us is, is staying in the house throughout 99% of our day probably. Um, not going out to work, not going out to the gym, um, and trying to navigate how we can make sure we're still keeping good habits, even though a lot of our usual routine has, has changed quite a bit. So yesterday, I introduced you to some concepts from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Uh, one of the things I want to reiterate today, and that I'll probably reiterate every day, is that you have to start out by asking, what kind of person do I want to be? And then second, how do you prove it to yourself with small wins? So again, here we're trying to make sure that we're still building that identity of a healthy, fit person, um, and how are we going to create the habits that create those small wins to prove that identity. So today, law number two is make it attractive. So if you want uh, a habit to be something that you're, you're going to want to do, obviously, we want to make it attractive. So a story I read in uh, the Atomic Habits book by James Clear was about a electrical engineer in Dublin. So this was a guy who enjoyed Netflix, uh, but he also knew that he should exercise more. Now, fortunately for him, he was an electrical engineer, uh, and he probably had some skills that maybe not all of us have, but I, I would bet some of you do. So what he did is he connected his stationary bike to his laptop and his TV and configured it so that Netflix would only run if he was cycling on his stationary bike above a certain speed. This moment he dropped below that speed, Netflix would shut right off. So what he did is something called temptation bundling. And temptation bundling is linking an action you want to do with an action that you need to do. Now, yesterday I talked to you a little bit about habit stacking, where you were gonna take a current habit and you were gonna add on the new habit you wanted to do. Today we're gonna take that one step further and use habit stacking and combine it with temptation bundling. So the way we're gonna do that looks like this. After my current habit, I will do the habit I need. And then after doing the habit I need, I will do a habit that I want to do, okay? And that habit you want to do, that should be the attractive one. And what we're trying to do here is make sure that the habit you need to do, the one you're trying to build, that positive habit, gets tied in with something that you really enjoy doing. So an example I might make here is, let's say normally you have your morning coffee and then uh, you spend a little bit of time, you know, scrolling on Instagram or, or checking Facebook and, and looking at your phone right away in the morning, which is something that most of us like to do, but most of us probably agree we do too much. So what we might do is between your current habit of the coffee and the habit that you like doing, uh, which is checking your phone, we might insert a new habit that we know is gonna be good for us. So I might say, after I make my morning coffee, I will do 10 jumping jacks. After I do my 10 jumping jacks, then I'll read the news or check Facebook or scroll on Instagram. Now, again, just to reiterate, the goal here is to make things more attractive, um, tied with the habits that you need to do. Another example we can do to make sure you're getting in your, more, uh, your workouts that we're posting for you online is pick a time of day you're going to do it and put it after something you would normally do, uh, but again, before something that you might do just for recreation that you don't need to do, might not necessarily be as good to do. Um, so we might say, after I walk the dogs, I will 
do my video YouTube workouts with Teresa and Ryan. After I do those video workouts with Teresa and Ryan, I will relax on the couch and watch Netflix for half an hour. So that's a brief summary of rule number two for you guys. Hopefully that was helpful. And join me again tomorrow when I discuss law number three, which is make it easy. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy that one. I find it pretty fascinating and it's something I've already started using for the past month to help ingrain a new habit uh, for myself. So I'll see you then.